Hi everyone, this is Michelle from Sprouts. This is my 2019 garden plans for my small urban garden in Portland, Oregon. I have a small garden at my rental home and two raised beds at a community garden that's private on my street. I've lived at my house about six years now and um, they did allow me to garden. I've been slowly doing things because I don't want to go crazy. Well, I would like to go crazy, but since it's not my property, I'm going the traditional route. Hi, so we're at my community garden right now. It's a raised bed community garden and it's private, which means the city doesn't run it. And I like it a lot because there's a lot less rules than in a, in a community garden that the city runs. Sets, 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 sets are $50 and we can get up to two beds. Okay, so this is the community end of the garden and half the garden is devoted to community beds and we each help in the community area. There's not a set schedule or anything, which I like. And then we divide up the produce. We always have a lot of vegetables, so what we do is take the excess to the homeless shelter. It's still cold here, but the spring bulbs are just beginning to show in my garden. I have some daffodils that I put in this fall that are getting to flower. I've been doing many projects outside it's so cold this time of year, but usually I can get out because it's usually a high of, of the 40s and 50s, but this year is totally different. We're having a really cold spring, which actually will be good for the early start vegetables here, um, like lettuce and things like that. We have a long spring. Okay, this is a window that a neighbor gave me. She was gonna put it out um, in the trash or, or on the um, sidewalk for someone to take. And I did take it and I'm gonna use it to make a mini greenhouse. I haven't done anything with it yet, but my other neighbor, saw that I had this and says he has two windows for me, two additional windows, so that's great. Okay, so this is a plan for my house garden. I have a large porch that I'm going to um, make that like a tropical garden. Then I've got a lot of things this year that I picked up from neighbors, like the iris beds, those are new. Um, I got those from a neighbor that had um, a ton of uh, irises and I also picked up some daylilies from them also. Now I'm showing you where the daylilies are planted and now we're going into the secret back area that I have and I kind of took over this land. It, it belongs I think to the railroad company um, but it was all blackberries and I've been fighting the blackberries every year and slowly I've been putting in like more of like a natural garden back there. Okay, this is a shot of the right side of my garden and there's nothing too much there. It's a small strip of grass. So there is a magnolia tree and I think I want to put in an apple tree this year, like a small apple tree. And then um, this is my community garden again, the uh, overall plan. And that's where I want to grow all the vegetables. 